This is the Boeing 787-10, the biggest variant of the venerable Dreamliner series. The story of the 787-10 begins with the development of the Boeing 787 Dreamliner program, which was officially launched in 2004. This program represented a significant shift in Boeing's approach to designing and building commercial aircraft, focusing on fuel efficiency, advanced technology, and improved passenger comfort. The first variant in this family, the 787-8, made its maiden flight in 2009, followed by the stretched 787-9 variant. As the aviation market continued to evolve, airlines expressed interest in a larger version of the 787, one that would offer more seating capacity and cargo space while retaining the operational efficiencies and technological advancements of its predecessors. Responding to this demand, Boeing officially announced plans for the 787-10 at the 2013 Paris Air Show. The design of the 787-10 leveraged much of the technology and lessons learned from the Dash 8 and Dash 9. However, it was distinct in its length, stretching about 18 feet or 5.5 meters longer than the 787-9, which enabled the aircraft to accommodate around 330 passengers in a standard two-class configuration, significantly more than its predecessors. Despite its larger size, the 787-10 maintained the Dreamliner family's signature features, such as the use of composite materials for most of its structure, fuel-efficient engines, and advancements in aerodynamics. The Boeing 787-10 made its first flight in 2017, a significant milestone that marked the beginning of a rigorous flight test program. The aircraft received its type certification from the FAA and the ESA in early 2018, and the first 787-10 was delivered to Singapore Airlines in March 2018, marking the entry of the largest Dreamliner variant into commercial service. Since its introduction, the 787-10 has been well received by airlines and passengers alike, praised for its fuel efficiency, range, passenger comfort, and environmental friendliness. Stay with us till the end of the video because here is everything you need to know about the Boeing 787-10. Starting with the cabin's physical dimensions, the 787-10 boasts an impressive width of 18 feet or 5.5 meters, which is a fundamental factor in the cabin's spacious feel. The cabin height, at 8 feet or 2.44 meters, contributes to an open, airy atmosphere that is further enhanced by the aircraft's unique architecture. The layout typically a twin aisle configuration, allows for optimal movement and flexibility in seating arrangements. The cabin's design can accommodate up to 330 passengers, though this number can vary depending on the airline's specific configuration and class division. One of the most notable features is the overhead bins. They are larger than standard bins, allowing for more baggage space per passenger. This not only improves the boarding process, but also reduces the need for checked luggage, enhancing the overall passenger experience. Moving on to seating, the seats are designed for comfort and space efficiency. The seat dimensions and pitch vary based on airline specifications and class configuration, but on average, the economy class offers a seat pitch of around 31 to 32 inches or 79 to 81 centimeters and a width of about 17.2 to 18.5 inches or 43 to 47 centimeters. The business and first class sections provide more generous spacing with wider seats and greater pitch, offering a more luxurious experience. The seats are ergonomically designed, offering adjustable headrests and ample legroom catering to passenger comfort even on long-haul flights. The in-flight entertainment and connectivity systems are state-of-the-art, featuring large, high-resolution touchscreens with a wide array of movies, TV shows, music, and games. The system is designed to cater to a diverse range of passenger preferences. Additionally, the aircraft is equipped with satellite-based Wi-Fi, allowing passengers to stay connected throughout their journey. One of the most praised features is its advanced LED lighting system. This system can mimic natural light patterns, reducing jet lag and enhancing passenger comfort. The lighting can be adjusted to create different moods and environments, aligning with the time of day and flight phase. In terms of noise and vibration levels, the 787-10 excels, 
Thanks to its advanced engine technology and soundproofing materials, the cabin experiences significantly lower noise levels compared to older aircraft models. This reduction in noise and vibration contributes to a more peaceful and relaxing journey, particularly on long-haul flights. The pressurization and air circulation systems are very good. The 78710 has a lower cabin altitude pressure equivalent to 6,000 feet or 1,830 meters compared to the typical 8,000 feet or 2,440 meters in other aircraft. This, combined with an advanced air filtration system, results in fresher air with higher humidity levels, reducing passenger fatigue and dryness. Lastly, the lavatories are designed with passenger comfort in mind. They are more spacious than those found in similar long-haul aircraft, featuring touchless faucets and larger mirrors. The design and aesthetics of the lavatories maintain the modern and clean feel of the aircraft's overall interior. Now let's step into the cockpit. Firstly, the flight deck is spacious, offering ample room for pilots to operate comfortably during long-haul flights. The seats are adjustable and can be tailored to individual preferences, which is crucial for maintaining alertness and comfort over extended periods. Central to the 78710's cockpit is the state-of-the-art avionics suite, which features five large-format LCD screens, each measuring about 15 inches diagonally. These high-resolution displays provide critical flight information, navigation data, and system status at a glance, ensuring that pilots have a comprehensive understanding of the aircraft's performance and environment. One of the most remarkable features of the avionics is the integration of the SVS, which provides a three-dimensional rendering of the external environment, regardless of actual visibility conditions, significantly enhancing situational awareness, especially during takeoff, landing, and taxiing. The FMS is another cornerstone of the 78710 and offers advanced route planning capabilities, optimized for fuel efficiency and time management. The FMS is intuitive and user-friendly, allowing for easy input and modification of flight plans. The HADI deserves special mention. This feature projects critical flight information onto a transparent screen in the pilot's line of sight, which means that pilots can maintain a view of the outside world while simultaneously accessing important flight data. The avionics suite is equipped with advanced communication systems, including SATCOM, which ensures constant connectivity with air traffic control and the airline's operations center. This seamless communication capability is vital for real-time decision-making and flight optimization. The EFB functionality integrated into the cockpit enhances operational efficiency by providing electronic documentation, charts, and performance calculations, which reduces the need for physical manuals and charts, streamlining operations, and reducing cockpit clutter. The auto throttle and autopilot systems are highly advanced, offering precision and reliability. The auto throttle system smoothly manages engine power to maintain a set speed or flight path, while the autopilot system provides accurate lateral and vertical guidance based on the flight plan entered into the FMS. Regarding navigation, the 78710 is equipped with a sophisticated GPS, an IRS, and modern air data computers, which work in tandem to provide precise location and flight data, crucial for accurate navigation and flight safety. Lastly, the cockpit includes advanced safety systems, such as the EGPWS and the TCAS, which provide real-time alerts to prevent ground collisions and mid-air conflicts, respectively, significantly enhancing overall flight safety. Now, let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. Customers have a choice between two engine types, the Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 and the General Electric GENX 1B. Starting with the Rolls-Royce Trent 1000, this engine is part of the renowned Trent family, known for its reliability and efficiency in powering wide-body aircraft. The Trent 1000 features a three-shaft high-bypass turbofan design, which optimizes the engine's efficiency by allowing each section to operate at their optimal speeds. The bypass ratio of the Trent 1000 is approximately 10 to 1, which contributes significantly to its fuel efficiency and reduced noise levels. The engine also incorporates the latest developments in blade technology, 
with its swept fan blades designed to reduce noise and improve aerodynamic efficiency. The combustor is designed to minimize emissions, making it one of the more environmentally friendly engines available. The engine employs what Rolls-Royce calls the Trent three-spool architecture, which has been refined over the years to deliver power efficiently and reliably. Furthermore, the Trent 1000 uses advanced materials, including titanium aluminides and single crystal superalloys, which contribute to its durability and ability to operate at high temperatures. On the other hand, the General Electric GENX 1B engine is part of GE's next generation family. The GE Next 1B utilizes GE's twin annular pre swirl or TAPS combustor, which significantly reduces emissions by as much as 55% below the regulatory limits. Like the Trent 1000, the GE Next 1B also features a high bypass ratio around 9 to 1, optimizing its fuel efficiency and reducing its carbon footprint. One of the most innovative features of the GENX-1B is the use of composite materials. The fan blades and the fan case are made from carbon fiber composites, which are lighter and stronger than traditional materials. This not only reduces the overall weight of the engine, but also improves its overall efficiency and durability. The GENX-1B's fan blades are uniquely curved and have a larger diameter, which contributes to its lower noise profile and higher efficiency. In terms of thrust, the specific thrust rating chosen by an airline depends on various factors, including route requirements and payload needs. But generally, the thrust ratings for these engines can go up to around 76,000 pounds force. The aircraft requires 9,100 feet or 2,800 meters of runway to take off at sea level on a standard day, with a maximum takeoff weight of 560,000 pounds or 250,000 kilograms and a maximum payload capacity of 126,000 pounds or 57,000 kilograms. The engines allow a maximum cruising altitude of 41,100 feet or 12,500 meters. The plane has a maximum speed of Mach 0.9, a maximum cruise speed of Mach 0.85, a maximum range of 6,430 nautical miles, which is 7,400 miles or 11,900 kilometers, and a minimum landing distance of 5,500 feet or 1,700 meters. And finally, the base purchase price for a new Boeing 787-10 is $350 million before options. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.